if you know, if you make a scene, you will be. You, you have some good ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to speak. I won't be shouting, but I'm speaking. Over the years, we have heard a lot of things said and spoken by men and women. But the foundation of every word spoken is never true if Jesus is not in the center. I was reading and talking about certain facts uh, regards the world and how the world was made and today many people have mislaid a lot of people today on earth concerning what God has created. I got this book I've been reading, I found it really interesting and I'm going to read Why some of it Jesus? to you today for you to listen. He said in Exodus chapter 20 from verse 4, it says, You shall not make for yourself any image carving of anything in the heavens and on the earth. Even the heaven above, the earth beneath the waters and under the earth. The Bible tells us that God love for humanity was evidence after he created Adam and Eve. After God created Adam and Eve, his love for the world and humanity, it is the evidence and it's all documented and it's all written down. Now we can see that the Bible is an authentic book that declares the creation of God, not the way scientists display the world, not the way scientists tell us the shape of what God has created. Adam and Eve rebel against God in the Garden of Eden, but God still loved them. God still treasured them. Even if they turned their back on God, they didn't want anything to do with God. God still loves them. That is why when you read in the New Testament, John chapter 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that if you believe in the Son of God, you will not perish, but have eternal life. That proves the incredible love of God for humanity. You know, today, people have made a lot of images. What you wear could be an image. What you treasure more than God is your image. And God has warned the people of Israel to refrain from worshipping an image, a man-made idol of God. It is an abomination for a man to worship something that is created. And Jesus also told us that a man must love God with all his heart, his soul and mind. And Jesus said secondly, thou shalt love thy neighbor as you love yourself. But man has shifted the love for God into the love of material things, the love of idols, the love of given things that is made by hand. And I tell you, not everything that people worship is really meant to be worshipped. Some of you have made cigarettes, you God, because it won't take a day without you puffing. 
hoping you believe in those things more than God. You know your beauty that you admire. Every day you look yourself in a mirror, you look at how beautiful you are. Instead of admiring God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, you are focused on good things that you can have today and tomorrow is gone. What brought in a man? If you gain everything in the world, then you die and you lose your soul. Following the Hebrews, God chose also the Gentiles. That is you and I. He first chose the Jewish people so that the world will come to know that he is a true God. That he is the only creator of the heavens and the earth. The one who made the mountain, the rivers, the stars, the vegetation, and every species of animal that you and I see today. God chose those people so that they can let everyone in the world know that there is only one God. The God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac, the only true creator. Beside him, there's no any other God. People have made different God, the Buddhist God, the Hindu God, the Sikh God, all other gods is not a true God. My friend, the true God must manifest himself. If you worship a God that has never shown you and I that is God, is not God. Look at the Buddhist God, young man. The Buddhist God is a man-made idea, man-made philosophies. The Buddhist God can do nothing if the whole world has turned against you. I know, because it's man-made. I can prove it. Because I've seen Buddhists, what they do is be drunk and they shout, nothing happens. I've proven it. I have seen it. I've been close to them. And I realize those gods are nothing. And also, when you go to make a young man a black stone, what benefit is a black stone to you? It's culture. It's a spiritual thing. You it's wouldn't understand because you don't believe in, in my God. In which way? In what you way? don't believe in my God. You wouldn't understand. In what way is a black stone in Mecca beneficial to you? In what way does the Bible that change what No, my friend, answer my question. How come when people go How to Mecca, when people go to Mecca, yeah, yeah. people always yeah, die and yeah. they move around. Yeah, yeah, people yeah, are yeah. crushed and they are dead. Yeah. If the black stone yeah. is spiritual, yeah. why can't the spiritual aspect in the black stone help those who are praying around. He could have stopped those from dying. Every year people die. I tell you, sir, the black stone is an idol, the thing that God hates. And that is what you worship. That is what you worship. You are not worshiping the God who created the heaven and the earth. The God who showed himself to, to the children of Israel, he led them from Egypt by the pillar of cloud in the night, the pillar of light. The God that divided the Red Sea. But if your God cannot do anything like that, he is not God. He is an imagination. He is something that is made up 
and you are hooked up in worshiping something that is not real. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory to God. Do you want to have a civilized conversation? My dear friend, I am talking. What was the name of Moses? And when I'm talking, you what need was to speak. Call us, fight. If you have questions, yes, you so can so ask me to okay. But I will give you time to ask questions. Huh? Give me you time. know people go and hurt trees. Shut up. You are hugging trees. I'm not listening. You're just being. It's a fufu. You have been hugging trees. That's why you are gaining weight all the time. You must stand to worship a true God. The God of Abraham. The God of Jacob. The God of Isaac. The God that answered by fire. The God that answered prayers. The God that gave food in a desert when the Jews did not have food. My friend, you can pray many times, but you will not get an answer from the God that you are praying to. I challenge you. God punished the children of Israel when they began to worship idols. They began to make graven images, things that is used by those who are arts and craft and clever men. They can build any image in any shape, in any structure, but they worship. God was mad with them. God destroyed some of them. But because Jesus came, because Jesus came on earth, God spared you. God has spared you, my Muslim friend. Do you want to have a civilized conversation and stop shouting? God would have slaughtered. Do you want to have a civilized conversation and stop shouting? Glory to God. I got a question. Can you answer it? That is your imagination. And your imagination is only good for you. I tell you, my friend, Jesus existed. There is a biblical truth that Jesus came on earth. You were killed by the Christians. Why are you blaming Christians? You are alive. You are alive. No, I'm not mad. Who are German? They were Christians. Who is Christian? You don't know. I know. I know. He was described. The Pharisees and the Sanhedrin. They gang up. They say Jesus blasphemed. He must be. They were not Christian. Those were not Christian. They were not Christian. They were Christian exactly. You know what they believe in? They were not Christian, my friend. The people that killed Jesus were not Christian. You know, I don't know what Bible you read. If you any read any Bible, you are reading the wrong Bible. Because if you read the Bible correctly, He will tell you those who persecuted Jesus. Those who reported Jesus to Pontius Pilate, a Roman Empire, a Roman governor. And it was the Roman soldiers who crucified Jesus on the cross of Calvary. They were not Christian. They were pagans. You are the one crazy. You know, when you don't have knowledge, you are crazy. That's what you are. There were no Muslims in Germany. These men were pagan. The Romans were pagan. There are many gods that they worship. Even the god called Diana was a god that they worship in Rome. You don't even have a clue about that. You don't know. You are not researching. You are stuck in your Quran. And if I tell you there's a lot of contradiction in your book, you will not accept it. How many times did you talk about it? Glory be to God. Cut it because it's... Hallelujah. We'll tell you again.